and now I successfully um, request for, or I successfully modify the order here. Please do check email inbox, spam, and job folders for the confirmation of this modification, as well as for the tracking number of this package, okay? Okay, sounds good. All right, and would there be anything else before we end the call, Jason? I think that's all. Thank you so much for your help today. Not a problem, and thank you so much for calling Best Buy, and you have a great day. Goodbye for now. All righty, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. Goodbye. Forever, most likely. Every time you talk to a customer service rep, you never know if that's going to be the last time you talk to them. So tell them you love them. If you love them. And if you don't love them, you know, just be polite. That's what I always say. Uh, Grayson's birthday party is... Well, his birthday's tomorrow, and his birthday party's next Sunday. So being as poor as we are, we have to live paycheck to paycheck. At the moment, I'm sure I'll be rich soon enough, though. <laughs> I mean... Anywho, uh, so I placed an order this morning, and it came, uh, it was, um, there's nobody over there, there's a window. <laughs> uh, it came with a, uh, uh, it was Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. He's been dying to get that game, and actually I think it's going to be a lot of fun for all of us. Anywho, it came with this medallion, this coin uh, collector's thing, and I was like, oh, it's free. I don't have to pay for it. Great. But when my order came through, I got a text on my phone saying one of the items was ready to pick up. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I ordered these because I don't like to leave the house. I don't like humans, and I don't like talking to people I don't know. You're in a crowd? I can talk to a crowd. Put a crowd in front of me, and I am magic on the pulpit. <laughs> or whatever. Um, but I'm just not good. At, like, I don't like... And it's gotten worse as I've gotten older. And I feel bad because, I mean, there's genuinely good people out there. But... I am at this point where if I can avoid being in contact with other people that hang on, that aren't my direct friends or family, like, I will avoid it at all costs. I mean, I, I've skipped out on going to see, like, shows because I would rather just not deal with people. I just, I, I can't stand a crowd. I don't like lines. And I really just, I, just people these days. When I go to Walmart, which is a place that I do go, actually, I have been going there, like, once a week now, um... I went to Kroger this week. I don't know if you really care about this or not, but I'm going to tell you my story anyway. Um, especially when new Oreos come out, it inspires me to go look around at other stores for them and gives me a reason to not go to Walmart. Well, I found lately that, like, um, Walmart's just, the people are so bad. Like, people, like, a great example, and I, and I hate, the, I think I told a story before, but like when you go to the 20 items or less and there's a person with a full car and they're not allowed to say anything that is fucking infuriating to me it, it is one of those tests in patience and that is where I draw the line like it just it, when people don't follow rules like obvious rules rules that should be driving in a parking lot if there's arrows to go up then don't go down the fucking thing cause you know what we're gonna go head to head and I'm not gonna fucking move I don't know where that anger came from, but I'm trying to press that all down. And by going to Walmart less, I find that it's helping a lot. Uh, people are just so rude these de these days, and I hate to generalize, but, like, no one will get out of your way. You know, I mean, nobody obeys the rules. Like, simple, like, not I'm, not, I'm talking about laws. I'm talking about rules. Like, just, like, unwritten rules, even. I'm sure there's some written ones, too, but, like, going down on the right and coming up on the on the right like you stay to the right and then everything flows really well that's why when you go down a, a store like Walmart they've got all their their advertised products in the middle of the aisle and you can go through and around them but there's enough room on both sides for two carts so you go down on the right and you come back on the right and you'll never have a problem but I don't know, I think maybe I expect too much out of humanity and, and humans in general. Um, but I just, it, I, the more I leave the house, the more I just want to stay home with my family. And like, I mean, I'm not talking off grid somewhere in the middle of the woods, like leave me the fuck alone or I'll shoot you kind of like, I just, I don't know. I prefer the company of the people that I've chosen to be in my life at this point. And I really don't want to invite 
new people in, and I and I don't want to go out of my way to find new ones. Like I'm very happy and satisfied, and it's it's already hard enough managing life. You know what I mean? Like, you know, today today was a, today was an interesting story. So Carol just left her job at Blue Ridge Ear, Nose, Throat, and Plastic Surgery. She'd been there on pretty much well, pretty much straight for about five years. She took a three month gap where she worked at Riley Dental and just didn't like it, and so she was happier going back. And so she entered the audiology department. Well, as jobs do over time, like, I've been at my job for 14 years, but thankfully, like, I'm only there two days a week at this point, and I still get in and get aggravated over the dumbest things. But five years of being there, and I think some mismanagement, some poor management, some unprofessional behavior at that job, cho she chose to leave there to go and work at Peaks View Animal Clinic, which I'm going to probably... <laughs> probably going to tear up a little bit. So first we heard that the um, the, human, the Humane Society was hiring. So she, she got an interview there, but they were only hiring for like eight twenty five or something. And like, I won't say what she was making at her old job, but it was, it was close to double that. And... So, obviously, they weren't going to meet her anywhere close to that. So, we also heard that um, uh, my friend Sarah Morano let us know that Peaks View Animal Clinic was hiring. And it was for a front desk physician. And, I mean, she's she doesn't do just front desk at her old job, but, like, that was part of the job. Um, and so, and she already has a lot of medical knowledge from eyes. She worked at several different uh, eye care places since I've known her. Three, I think, since I've known her. Uh, and then she did ears, so like she's really got the head covered. Um, when the Peaks View thing came about, they gave her the interview. They told her they started, I think it was like at nine or something like that. And I was just like, oh shit! I'm like, we we just can't do it. And I'm like, so she wrote her a really nice letter back, the woman who hired her, and, and just said, you know, I, I'm making this in my other job. I would love to be here. Da 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 da. I don't remember word for word what it said, but they met her closer to what she was making and I think within a year or so she'll probably be end up making that or more and now when she comes home every day good lord uh, she talks about how many puppies she's got to pet or how many kitties she's got to hold or like I saw the cutest this this that and the other and I just I just see this major change and like I don't know these are things I guess we don't say to each other sometimes but maybe we should but, like, it really, it just brings tears to my eyes, and it makes me so happy, because I know, like, I, I just, the minute I heard about this job, I was just like, she's going to get that job, that's where she'll be working next. I just knew it in my heart of hearts, if that means anything. And I just, I just see a brilliant future there. I don't know how we got from a conversation with the Best Buy representative fixing my order to here. With tears streaked cheeks here tear streaked cheeks that's a shitty thing to say discs tear streaked cheeks uh yeah i don't know what this is i have no idea why i even started recording i was just sitting here i i've been i just did laundry with carol i think i told you this but she she for father's day she caught up on laundry and it was awesome because when there's four or five baskets when you get four people living in your house like trying to keep up is bloody murder because you do a load and there's almost by the end of the day another load to do so you're always on the cycle which is fine if you don't have anything backed up and you're looking for that shirt or a clean pair of underwear <laughs> so um she did that for father's day and i've been trying every day to get it done so that we never get in that position again and i know that's that's wishful thinking and, and something will probably throw a monkey wrench in but i'm gonna keep it going as long as i can because it makes my days very well scheduled <laughs> well i'm gonna just stop this because this is 11 minutes and 34 seconds of just absolute random ramblings i was hoping maybe something was going to come out of the conversation with the the lady i think that's why I started recording. I get so many telemarketer calls, but lately, even when I try to lure them in, bait them into a conversation, I'm recording it, I'm like, here we go. They just won't freaking bite. Like, they just hang up on me all the time. All right, 12 minutes. I'll see you guys in whatever's next. Kind of like the, let's get a whatever'snext.com.
Why not.com? Why not.com is taken both ways. Alright, go to bed.